Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Terry and I make Philippine travel updates. Today, I delivered to you a very, very good news. I think there are three good news for this update, but there's one main good news. <laughs> I delivered to you IATF Resolution 164. Let's start with Iloilo City. It has been de-escalated to alert level one, the most relaxed alert level in the country. Congratulations to the residents of Iloilo City. While more foreigners will be allowed but this is only a start don't worry if you're not covered the entry and testing and quarantine protocols for foreign nationals arriving from abroad under IETF res resolution 160b from before has been amended first amendment okay the people who will be allowed from section a1b to a1h shall be amended it's still the same if you are from the 157 visa free countries you may still enter the philippines without the need to secure a visa before traveling so it's still visa upon arrival for the visa free countries 157 no change for you okay it's all good but good news to folders of hong kong special administrative region or macau star passports they will be able to enter the Philippines and they are entitled to stay for a period of not exceeding 14 days. Okay, this is a change for Hong Kong passport holders and Macau SR passport holders. They may now enter just like pre-pandemic times and they can stay not more than 14 days. But they may apply for visa extensions in the Philippines. So no worries, just extend your stay, <laughs> go to the Bureau of Immigration before that 14 days. So for now, it's only these two passport holders. I think this is only a start. We are expecting that um, visa issuance abroad for 9A visa would also start soon by April, just like the proposal of DOT. But for now, it's starting with Hong Kong and Macau passport holders. Let's move forward. Three countries are added on the reciprocity list. That's Croatia, Cyprus, and Nepal. So if you guys are vaccinated in these three countries, you're a foreign national, then you don't need to secure the yellow card. Your vaccination proof issued by your countries will be accepted in the Philippines. So these three countries will be an addition to the list of countries that is on the reciprocity list of the IATF with the DFA and all that. So there is a long list for this. If you're vaccinated in the US, in UAE, in Canada, in UK, in Australia, in where else? Uh, in Greece, Malta, Armenia, there's a long list for this, guys. You can pause the video to find your country. So vaccination proof of these countries will be accepted in the Philippines, state or national, digital or printed. Moving forward, this is the best news. <laughs> you know that antigen test? Yep, it's been approved. The entry and testing has been changed and there is no date on the um, effectivity so it's effective immediately <laughs> section a1b to a1h has been amended of iatf resolution 160-b first up for nationals traveling to the philippines for business and tourism purposes may enter the philippines without visas provided that they present an rt-pcr test taken within 48 hours that's the current rules or you may now have the option to secure a negative laboratory-based antigen test taken within 24 hours prior to your time and date of departure from the country of origin from first, of first port of embarkation and a continuous travel to the Philippines, excluding layovers provided that he or she has not left the airport premises or has not been admitted into another country during such layover. So the big change is negative laboratory taken antigen test within 24 hours before your flight will be accepted. So you have the option whether you want the RT-PCR 48 hours or antigen test within 24 hours. And this change does not only apply to foreign nationals entering visa-free, but also, but also, to fully vaccinated Filipinos, unvaccinated, partially vaccinated, or Filipino nationals whose vaccination status cannot be independently validated. Opo. So, mga foreigners at Filipino pwede mag-avail ng negative antigen test na 24 hours. Ayan. Okay, guys. 
Pwede na po yung negative antigen test, but please, please take note, laboratory-based. So, home test kit where you do it by yourself, it, it's not the one that's accepted. Because in the first place, you need a certificate. Okay? You need to have a certificate showing that you're negative. So, kung yung home test kit na ikaw lang nag-test, walang certificate, talagang hindi po yun pwede. Pwede. Labor Laboratory-based antigen test po. So, all passengers 4 years old and older now, to have, now have two options. Negative RT-PCR 48 hours or negative antigen test 24 hours before departure. O sa mga uuwi soon, nakapag-appointment na ng kanilang RT-PCR, yan, hanap-hanap na ng antigen test, <laughs> mas mura, di ba? So, yan na, go, go, go. This is effective immediately naman. <laughs> So let's just do a recap. Fully vaccinated, have two options, negative RT-PCR or antigen test. The times are different, no? the timing. For RT-PCR, 48 hours. For antigen, 24 hours. And it's still the same. No quarantine, just self-monitor for symptoms until 7 days. Self-monitor is not quarantine. Unless, of course, your local government has their own rules. <laughs> Moving forward, unvaccinated, partially vaccinated, unverified Filipino citizens. Two options, RT-PCR or antigen test and may quarantine pa rin upon arrival. Fifth day swabbing and then kung lumabas na yung result ng swab, pwede nang umuwi sa bahay. So mga six days usually na quarantine for the unvaccinated. So just a recap on the requirements. It's a, it's a big change on the test result requirement. So for Filipino citizens po, yung negative test result, RT-PCR or antigen. Reminder, 48 hours ang RT-PCR, antigen 24 hours. And then, one health pass QR code, vaccination proof if vaccinated. Pero kung hindi vaccinated at nano if W, pre-book quarantine hotel for 5 nights. O if Ws na mga hindi vaccinated, libre pa rin. Libre pa rin ang travel nila pa transport pa uwi sa province po. Uh, also, <laughs> foreign tourists. Two options, antigen test or RT-PCR. And then passport should be more than six months valid upon entry. Accepted vaccination proof, travel insurance, exit ticket of not more than 30 days since arrival. For Macau passport holders, Hong Kong passport holders, since your stay is not exceeding 14 days, then your exit ticket should not be more than 14 days. So it's different for Hong Kong and Macau passport holders. But for visa free 157 countries, it's 30 days. Next up, One Health Pass QR code. Then for balik bayans, yan mga balik bayans, may option na kayo ng antigen test. <laughs> it's still the same thing, guys. One year visa, a uh, one year visa entry and stay in the country pa rin. Old Filipino passport or birth certificate or marriage certificate sa asawa ninyo or birth certificate sa anak. Passport, more than 6 months valid, vaccination proof, travel insurance, at One Health Pass QR code. So yes, kailangan pa din ng insurance. So that's the major change. First up, Nepal, Croatia, and Cyprus, vaccination proof will now be accepted. Then, Macau and Hong Kong passport holder can enter 14 days, not more than stay. And then, antigen test, 24 hours will be accepted. So, that's all the changes for the IATF Resolution 164. Yay! Let's celebrate. Please like the video, guys, and share this news to anyone who will be traveling soon so that there will be, they will be aware. This is a big savings for financial and even emotional for travelers because RT-PCR is expensive and difficult to secure. Antigen test is way cheaper. So, yay for good news. God bless you guys and stay safe. Let me know where are you getting your antigen test and how much in your country. Let's share information with one another. God bless and stay safe. Bye!